For folks like me in the bakery business, bread rationing started with a big question mark. We didn't like it, and here we are saying so. Gentlemen, I'm, I don't want to labour this point. We were building our case up on the la no need for it. But in any case, if the government's going to come to we people and say, well, you've got to do it. If you don't, we'll send you to jail for seven years and pay, fine you 5,000 pounds. Well, gentlemen, that's the law. I don't know what you're going to do about the law. Well, like the chairman said, it's the law and there isn't much we can do about it, is there? That's what an old age pensioner, Mrs. New, said when I took her, her first day's ration. One small loaf for me and my husband, she said. What do you think I'm going to do with this? And here's an old customer of mine, Miss Hunt. She keeps house for her two brothers and sisters and an aunt. For the five of them, she gets 45 bread units a week, a large loaf and a small loaf a day, and two pound of flour at the weekends. Next on my round is Mrs. Sevia. Her husband works in an office and she's got five growing youngsters. She lays out her 45 units on a big and a small loaf a day and that leaves a bit over for flour to put in the weekend cake for the kids. Of course, you've got to keep moving on the round with all this extra work. I said so when I called at Mrs. Brown's. Her husband's a heavy worker and they've got three kids. She gets a large and a small loaf a day with three on Saturday and a pound of flour and a pound of cake. There you are, and here I am. I could do with being a bookkeeper, but we'll get through somehow.